Hi, teacher Chris here from Lewis County Head Start. And today we're gonna to finish talking about the plant cycle and greenhouse gases. With our little friend here that we planted two weeks ago that now teacher Chris had to transfer into a bigger greenhouse. That way he can grow big and strong. And after the video, I'm gonna briefly mention some important vegetables, herbs, and even a fruit you can regrow at home using the same method. So now let's start, what was a greenhouse gas? Well, greenhouse gases are certain gases in the atmosphere, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane, for example, that trap energy from the sun. Without these gases, heat will escape back into space and Earth's temperature would be about 60 degrees colder. Because of how they warm our world, these gases are referred to greenhouse gases. The greenhouse effect is a rise in, in Earth's temperature experiences by trapping these gases. Over here, we have a little diagram of how that works. As we can see, the sun's rays travel to Earth and can get absorbed by the ground thus transferring heat. Such as our little friend here, as the sun's rays came through the window, the soil absorbed all that heat, allowing these plants to stay nice and warm and trap the moisture inside, allowing these plants to grow. But not all uh, gases are like that. Some will transfer to the earth and bounce back out in the space. Others can bounce off of the water, ice, clouds, and the atmosphere and travel back down to Earth. And on Earth, we make our own greenhouse gases from factories to cars people and other animals we all produce greenhouse gases without the greenhouse gas uh, without the greenhouse effect the earth would not be warm enough for humans to live but if the greenhouse effect becomes stronger it can make earth warmer than usual even a little extra warmer may cause problems for humans, plants, and animals, as we all require a certain temperature to live and thrive. And that, my friends, is the journey of our little plant and how greenhouse gases can not only be our friend, but they can also hurt us too. Now, some other plants that can grow, like our little friend here, and this type of situation are green onions, celery, romaine lettuce, cabbage, bok choy, carrot tops, leeks, onions, basil, mint, and cilantro, which our little plant friend here is made up of sweet potato, regular potatoes, and one of my favorites, pineapple now below we'll find this list and how to properly grow them like our little friend here and about how long it takes for them to grow well that's the end of the journey for our little friend so i hope we had fun Toodaloo!